Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 20 of my main 124th Fokker DR1 build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode we're going to be doing the leather on the padding around the cockpit edge. For this I'm using a trusty Vallejo 70.828 wood grain. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on! There we have that bit painted, now to glue the undercart down, so let's get that done. Well that didn't take long did it? So let's pop that to one side to dry. As you can see in the picture the rigging in the middle was actually hooked around the cabane struts, not connected to the fuselage as the destruction show. So let's get prepped ready to do that. I'm using some Albion Alloy 0.6mm aluminium tube. Here I used my cutter but realised that I'd squished the tube and ended up drilling out the holes. But then I remembered a better way to do it which I'll use later. There we go, that's the cabane bracing done and I'm happy with that, looking quite good. Next up is the bracing on the undercart, so let's get this sorted shall we? There we go, that's the undercart done. 
Next is the elevator and rudder ringing. There we go, one rudder fixed in place and all the rigging for the tail section complete. Next a bit of painting, we're doing the ammo in the ammo belts, I'm using Vallejo Gold 77.066. There we go, that's done, that was easy and painless. Next it's time for us to fit the top wing. Plenty of test fitting and fettling here. Then, let's get it done. That's the top wing in place, glued, fettled and taped for the moment. Next we can get the lower rigging done on the cabane strut. Earlier you saw me cut pieces using my cutting tool but I found that it closed the tube up and I had to drill it out. Here I'm having trouble doing that and I suddenly remembered I'd seen somewhere that if you rolled the tubing under a knife it would break away cleanly. So I did that for the last two pieces and it worked a treat.
There we go, that's the cabane struts done. Whilst doing this, I also noticed that the spando sights had been bent back, but during the bending back process, one of the sights came off. And I noticed that the guns were looking in slightly different directions. So I fixed them all at the same time. There we go, that's the gun sorted and pointing in the right direction. As you noticed, I also broke one of the muzzles, but fixed it. Yay! Typical though, isn't it? Get towards the end, you start breaking things. Anywho, now for a quick touch up with the yellow. That was quick, easy and painless. How I like it. Anyway. I'd noticed that the undercart rigging had come slightly loose, so that needed tidying up. That's all sorted. Now for the rest of the cabane rigging. Yay! There we have the cabane rigging finished. That last one was a right ball ache. Anywho, this seems like a good place as any to end, so thank you for watching episode 20. If you want to see what happens in episode 21, which should be the last one, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling. <laughs>